Hi guys, we're going to work on reading and spelling trick words. So I'm going to get out my sentence frames so that I can go ahead and make our sentences that have our trick word in it. Here's my first sentence frame. Oop. Wow, look at my sentence frames, you guys. First of all, hold up the number of fingers for how many words I'm gonna have in my sentence. That's right, you should have held up four. How many words in my sentence are gonna start with a capital letter? Look at the frames, and on the count of three, show me the number of fingers. One, two, three. Two, right? This first word, always the first word of a sentence starts with a capital letter. And then this word right here, so that must be someone's name, right? Because names start with capital letters. Then here's my punctuation frame. That one's really tall. What might this sentence be? It might be a question and it might be an exclamation. We're just gonna have to find out. Okay, so here I go. I'm gonna type it, then I'm gonna read it. There's my capital letter again. Oh, and look, it's a question mark. I'm gonna circle my red word. So as I read it, you can figure out what the red word is. Here's my sentence. Can you help Bill? Can you help Bill? Raise your hand if you can tell me what our trick word is. That's right, our trick word is you, Y-O-U, perfect. Okay, we've got another one, one more trick word. And I know that clear frames are under my picture. <laughs> there we go, here goes my last sentence, my next sentence. Look at that, this time I only have one capital letter at the beginning of a sentence where there's always a capital letter. And I have that tall punctuation again, so that tells me it's either gonna be a question mark or an exclamation point, we'll just have to see. Here's my sentence. Here is my red word, or my trick word. Now, listen as I read this sentence so you can figure out what that trick word is. Is this your dog? Is this your dog? Everybody read that with me. Is this your dog? Somebody raise your hand and tell me what the trick word is. What word is this? That's right, the trick word is your. Your, is this your dog? which means, does it belong to you? Your has an ownership to it. That means it belongs to you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to look at our new trick words on our trick word practice board, and then we're going to review all of our trick words. I better move myself down for when we're ready. Here's our first trick word. The word is you. We're going to, like we always do, we're gonna write it in the air, skywrite it, then we're going to write it with our eyes open and then with our eyes closed and then in front of us and then later, or now, depending on what your teacher says, you're going to put it into your student notebook, okay? So get those arms out there. We're going to start with you. Say the letter names as you do it. Y-O-U-U. -U. Say it with your eyes open. Ready? Y-O-U-U. -U. Don't peek. Say it with your eyes closed. See if you can do it. 
Y-O-U-U. -U. Two fingers in front of you on the table, on your lap, wherever. Y-O-U-U. -U. Great. Now, let's go ahead and do the next word. Remember, the next word was the word your. Look at how similar those are. You and your. Okay, let's write your. Ready? Y O U R, your. Y O U R, your. Let's do it with our eyes open. Y O U R, your. Do it with your eyes closed. Y O U R, your. Two fingers. Y O U R, your. Like I said, depending on when your teacher tells you, you're going to need to add those into your, in with the rest of your trick words. Okay, so now what you need to do is remember, we need to be able to read these quick. I'm going to do this twice through. The first time I want you to read them, then the second time we'll read them together. Actually, let, yep, let's do it that way. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. And our new words, you and your. Okay, now this time I'm going to read them with you. And you can see if you got 100%. Ready? Let's go. The, a, and, is, his, of, as, has, to, into, or, for, you, and your. Great job today, guys.